Hello, uh, today I'm going to sketch quickly what's going on in chapter number 6 in the book. This is about a game that's called Green Hackenbush. This is a kind of a fun graphical game that's played with a graph. And let me give you a quick example before I tell you any definitions. Uh, you have the ground, you have some vertices that sit on the ground. You call them ground vertices or roots or whatever. And then from this vertex, you have a graph. Now how do you play this game? Well, the players take turns and they hack away edges. So for example, if I hack away this edge, this vertex is going to fall off. If the next player chooses to hack away, let's say, this edge, then uh, nothing really happens because we still have this edge and this edge that attaches this vertex to the ground. So I just removed this single edge while not disconnecting any vertices. And then we keep playing until there are no edges left to remove. Uh, so what can we say about this game? How can we analyze it? Well, when you're trying to analyze things, you start with something really, really simple. So what's a very simple kind of graph? One of the simplest graphs you can think about is the line graph. And it's pretty easy to convince yourself that playing a hack and bush on a line graph is really just the same as playing NIM on a heap where the number of chips in the heap is the same as the number of edges on the line graph. So since we know how to play NIM, uh, we're in good shape here. And if I had more line graphs sticking out, then we would just be playing NIM with many piles and we know exactly how to play that. How can you make this a bit more complicated? Well, if we start adding cycles, then things start to heat up. And in class, I will sketch the proof of something that's called the fusion principle. Well, that's badly written. Uh, that will tell us that given any cycle like this, uh, you can replace it with a single vertex if the number of edges is even, otherwise with a single edge. So here in this small example uh, we have a cycle that has four edges so we will remove the cycle and we'll be left with just a single just a single vertex. When we have this fusion principle, we can really play on any kind of graph. Uh, 